Welcome back everybody. It's currently Saturday, 24th, 24th of July. It's 8.20 a.m. in the Central Europe. Today I'm going to show you a different approach that I want to take for now, not for now, mm, today, for the um, backtesting session. So as you can see here, a trading plan. I made uh, my first trading plan that will take place on the 10th of August. Uh, and I will only trade gold, as you already know. Why am I showing this? I'm not today going through uh, the backtesting session, as you are, mm, might used to be. Um, I'm going to start looking at the exact setups that I called, that I want to see uh, doing my daily analysis. So to be more specific, you already know that on my daily analysis, I find key points, key levels to enter, to look for reaction, rejections, break and retest, and all these setups that I want to trade as a scalper, which are like six, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, seven. Um, of course, they are listed in my business slash trading plan. And um, the setups that we are going to see are the break and retest, as you can see, a double bottom, Multiple failures to break the previous high. Tuck, tuck. Breakout of a node block, very simple. A news report, news event, liquidity grab, real move of the news. Uh, squeeze from wedge, a wedge created against the resistance, as we saw yesterday, also from the, in the last few days uh, from gold and rejection at an important key level. So it's a really, really impulsive, aggressive rejection. Of course, this is the name that I gave. This is what, it's not a name, it's a concept, because of course a rejection from a key level can also be uh, a double bottom. So it's not uh, something fixed. So as I, as I told you, we are going, you know that I'm making, for the last two months, I've been making, um, daily analysis and daily recaps. If you follow me on Instagram, it's something that I do for me. Uh, I don't do it for the followers, etc. So I have 44 um, analysis, post New York, post New York, daily recap. So when I, where I go through my daily analysis and see, okay, this morning I expect this. It played out this, that. Today I want to take from today I want to take a step further and say, okay, I spotted a rejection, and as an analyst, it's good. I can tell you, okay, you see, I told you rejection, nineteen ten. Be mindful, but and it played out. Okay, nice, good, but I want to become a trader. I'm not only focusing on analysis. Uh, so it it mm, seems good for me to start looking at actual entries to get confident not only in the analysis, written analysis, but also in the actual um, entry and actual executing. So we're going through um, not predicting, not uh, guessing, uh, because we already know where you play out, but we're going through identifying the setups. Okay, so let's start, don't lose more time. So this is the 2nd of June, uh, end of 2nd of June. So uh, looking for the next following day, we were looking for a reaction at the previous, not the key level, the previous sensitivity, price sensitivity area at 19.10. We go on the following day in the, and we add exactly this reaction at 19.10 to then continue down, continue down hundreds of pips, but what, uh, okay, nice, this was good, okay, let's see where we could have entered. Now, in which setups, in uh, what setups, in what risk to reward, was it a scalping uh, entry, was it only an intraday, so that's what we want to analyze. So it's currently, as you can see, um, Thursday morning, so it's pre during the Asian, Asian session, as you, we already know that uh, we will react 
to this level. So we are going through really fast. to see what setup, what candles, what patterns uh, might give us the, uh, the confidence to entry, to say, okay, this is a reaction, this is a rejection, this is a failure to, uh, to break above. Okay. So for now we are seeing um, price reacting at these lows. So we can possibly exactly put it here in yellow to see. Okay, let's see. Could have we entered? Is there something we could have entered here or safely? at 19.05. Let's see. Okay, we see a reaction, we see now um, a breakdown. A possible retest. And then a failure to move, uh, uh, to do again. So it's creating a sort of double bottom, triple bottom. So now we are in, in a range. Let's see. As you can see, price is reacting to a trend line almost perfectly almost perfectly and it's continuing down so very good so what can we say so we might say this is a failure to break eyes yes um, I want I mean how can I expect price to here or here say okay yes it will it won't go up mm, during a session session I still don't have of course um, enough experience enough knowledge about the movement so we are going to try to analyze it so we see uh, very 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 small candles low volume we start seeing uh, around midnight GMT, some probably with China open, with uh, um, Australia open, of course, the all Asian session opening, some bigger candle, some bigger volume. We see a big spike of like 20 pips. Uh, after, we see a big rejection, big uh, volume, big impulse, rejecting and failing to break new highs and then straight down we react to the previous lows we bounce up so this is a typical range but what are we doing what are we looking at price is making new lower highs so honestly what can we say here uh, price is making new low making new lower high is ranging but is still failing to make new highs is not making new lows as well but is not is shrinking so we can say that is sort of a wedge and uh, a possible break up breakdown in this case of this uh, wedge can uh, give more of a trend so we have a break of uh, the trend so let's see let's put it this way okay here, here, okay, and of course we have a wedge that we can possibly, in the short term, long, lower time frame, put it here. So as we can see, of course this is insight, don't think about it, it's just I want to recognize 
setups. What can we say? This setup could have been a break of a wedge. Why? Because we are identifying lower highs resistance. Lower high resistance. Lower high resistance. F uh, breaking below uh, the previous lows, even. We have a rejection. We have a retest. So this is a sort of break and retest after a breakout of the squeeze. So this setup, my setup is this one. Break and retest. Sorry. We can retest after breakout from squeeze. So let me just take a screenshot here. Okay. Now, what can we do here? So, uh, do we have setup for our rules? Let me just pause a second. Okay. I open uh, just a word file to uh, paste the, the screenshots in. So um, my trading plan is very specific and says, okay, risk reward, I'm a scalper. This is a scalping setup, uh, scalping trading plan. So one to two, one to three risk rewards in maximum one hour of trade. So where could have we entered here? Honestly, realistically, uh, with our setups. So we see a squeeze, we see a break from the level. I'm not taking impulsive entries here. We see a retest. This might be one entry. If you put like 10 pips, you are safe even from this with this uh, setup above the previous highs. It stays safe here. Does it play out uh, 30 pips? Do we have a 30 pips range here? Yes. It will get there in more than two hours. Five. Yeah, so it's not what we want, apart from the fact that we is not Asian session is slow, so it's not what we want. Uh, we see a retest, maybe we enter here. Six, seven pips. So we want a 21 pips profit. Do we have it? Nope, we have it only here, which is again after two hours. Realistically, for me, there was no entry here. Even here is six pips. This one is the only one, honestly. This, in insight, is a one, two, two, risk reward. So after another failed attempt. We enter here, we put seven pips stop loss, six pips, and we get 12 pips. Is it what I want? No. Why? This is the uh, Asian session. So this was a breakout, break and retest after breakout from squeeze, but it's, there's not during this session enough volume for me to scalp. So that's it. Uh, for me, this is no trade. In insight, is a no trade. So let's move on. Apart from this trade, uh, consolidation prior, okay, we saw. Uh, let's go and see the news. Uh, because the news is another setup that I want to trade, as you may know. Okay. 
I want to go into uh, New York. So let me. I can keep it. No, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. So we are having the unemployment claims. Uh, in 15 minutes, is this what we are looking for? EDP, employment and jobless claims, exactly. Uh, okay. You can go away. So now we move, we wait for the news okay this is the news at uh, 12 at 2 15 we have a much better than forecasted uh, employment uh, change for the adp so it's not nfp yet of course uh, but it's of course it's uh, indeed good news for the um, labor market so what do we want to identify at the time of uh, the, the news? So we have these lows. Basically, this is the last body for a sort of safer. What do we know about gold is that we have spike up in liquidity or in an opposite mm -hmm. way. And then when the investors have their price, then they will start moving down uh, in the direction of the actual news. So let's see now, we will see the spike up. And then continuation down. We see reaction at the key level. So to me, this is like 30 pips range is too large is not a scalping range. Even if uh, it's a one to two, for me, it's too high. So it's not something that I could have entered. So unless I'm entering here on the spike, when I start seeing uh, bearish impulsive, in this case, is is um, is an entry. Because of course, we, as you can see, here we also have better data, so less unemployment uh, claims. So let's focus. This is the news. Let's focus. We see a spike up and then continuation down. From the various CPIs, so this is, let me put a label. Okay, so this is a report set up. So we are seeing already a downward uh, trend. It's the first news in 15 minutes. Okay, we see spike reacting to the, uh, I mean, this is the point that we put after. So it's the lows that we will consider. Okay, this is the moment where the news come. So what can we say is a good news. So we, we are not expecting investors to put money in gold for weakness of dollar. So if we see a spike up, is uh, like we saw in CPI, in NFP, is to make uh, then the real move later on. So to make the move down on uh, the pair that I'm trading. So we see a spike down, spike up, some whip sawing, because of course this is only the ADP. We still have in 10 minutes at 12.30 the unemployment claims. So we have to, investors want the big picture, the whole picture. 
And we see now at we have this liquidity grab. We still don't have the unemployment claims, which is okay. And we still keep sewing. We have this. Um, this is barcode, so it's not something that you want to enter in. You see a breakdown, breakout of this um, order block. So let's see if we have a retest. For like 20 pips of stop loss. Okay. Okay, now the the report came, which is way uh, I don't know you is way better for the dollar. So actually, where we can enter now, seeing the news, now we're going to see the live action. We can put it uh, above this level actually. If we immediately see. So we don't see an hyper week. If we enter here, it's 30 pips, 13 pips. I'm, I'm, I'm entering, why? Let's put it 14 pips, because based on the news. So three to one, it's 52, uh, 42. So we are entering here, sales. This is the three to one take profit. Let's see, I don't remember the action, so maybe I can even get stopped out. Of course, no. <laughs> okay, remember my training plan. Maybe for the news, no. I will tweak it, it. I need to know. Is taking partials. So. We are now at 18 pips, which is 2 to 1. No, it's not 2 to 1. Show me in pips. Yes, 118 pips now. Um, okay, and I want to take partial profits at 30 pips as per uh, trading plan. So let's see if we have time to make to do it or... Uh, it goes straight to, to the profit. Okay. I mean, now uh, we close partials. We don't want to, um, to break the plan. So we close partials. This is already over. We can, in this case, since we already took it partials higher, put it at the... Um, at the key level. Okay, we see a retract, we pull back. Break even, of course, when we put the, the partials is always at break even. Okay, we see failure, we see a pullback. We see a failure to, uh, to break above, so with what what we might consider and to, uh, see is to re-enter, to scale in. So, what might be actually useful is this. We are a scalper, so I don't want, I know, I don't care. I know that the move will be huge. I'm not playing that part. It's okay, oh, I'll leave it to 200 pips, it's nice. No, I'm a scalper. Uh, so actually, this is the, the TP for the previous one. I see a pullback, I see immediate reaction. Uh, 11 pips will require 30 pips of profit maximum, which we get at the same level. So 33 pips of profit. 
and Uyad Anand. So this is too tight. I really actually don't like it too much. We always give some people more. And let's see. We see an immediate retraction of this. But failure to make to break above. Let's see if there's a good news. Price is retracing to our entry. Um, but that the idea is still valid. So we, we didn't have to take profits because it was not the the point. Let's see. Okay, now this is some whip sewing. This is possibly um let me check the session we are coming towards um, New York stock, stock exchange open okay so you see we are in profit so we go to break even with the second one and we take partials as you can see we're taking partial 75% Very good, very good. Um, yeah, there's no point in leaving that, the first one over here. We bring it down here. And now, 12.30. Remember, we entered the first time here, 12.30. It's only 20 minutes. So remember that we have the rule, scalping rule of uh, maximum one hour. Okay, everything is closed. We saw a scalp taking partial, a re entry. Why? Because we saw, I mean, the news is good for the dollar. So we know that if we see these one, two candles, price can continue down, was not clean, but the stop loss did not act and get activated, we not stopped out. We took partials and we took the full lot here. So this is another, the report stop playing out. Let me take a screenshot. Very good, very good. Perfect. So let's see for today, we have this move. Trying to see the pips, we don't care. We only saw two, <laughs> one day. Uh, we are already at half an hour. Uh, we're going through um, these all the correction, uh, all trades in the next uh, few days. So for now, it's uh, that's it. See you later.